Christian, a 1-0 defeat to, to Barnett today, not the way you would have wanted to return from, from your injury? No, um, obviously we're extremely frustrated in there. Um, it's not how we uh, wanted today to go. Um, it's pulled Barnett right back into it now. Um, and maybe we could have could have um, not relegated them, but made it a lot harder for them. Um, yeah, we're, we're really down in the dumps in there, but um, we've got a great opportunity on the on Saturday, local derby, um, to get all our frustrations out and really get a, put a good performance in. On the injury, how's it feeling? Yeah, it's it's great. I didn't really feel it today at all. I had a one knock on it in the first half, but um, it's just one of those things. It's quite a niggly one, but um, it's fully fully recovered. Um, all credit to the medical team here. They've been unbelievable for me. Um, been at my back and call for, for weeks now, and they've really got me back probably sooner rather than I should have been. But um, it's it's big for uh, everyone now. Last five games, and everyone needs to be out on that pitch ready to go. Obviously, they made the fast start that, that we're expecting. We've seen to weather that storm, but the goal just came at, at such a wrong time. Yeah, I think um, I think people probably didn't realise on the side it was, it was very windy in the first half and we couldn't really get out, out of our half. Uh, we needed to, to see that out today at half-time, go in nil-nil and then play with the wind. And uh, I think that goal took, our, took it a little bit away from us and uh, we couldn't really create any, any clear-cut chances. I don't think we, me and Rubes had too many touches today. And... Uh, we need to get on the ball in the good areas to score goals. So um, back to um, back to training this week and got to work on those kind of things. Have you seen enough in the second half here and also games previously to, to know that we can get ourselves out of where we are? Yeah, we had loads of fight today. I thought I thought we we got after it. We were obviously one 0 down and we were chasing the game. We tried our hardest, but sometimes it just doesn't drop for you, um, especially when you're in the position we're in. Um, you don't get those easy goals, those easy tap-ins. We really had to fight for it today, and we kept, we, we fell short. Um, but we just got to keep going. Uh, obviously, a disappointing dressing room in there. But how much are everyone together, especially behind the manager as well? Oh, it's obviously very flat in there at the moment. Um, some some chosen words and a couple of rollickings, but that's what it takes. Uh, that's the, what it takes to get the best out of some people. Um, obviously has been brilliant for me since I've been here. Um, I wouldn't be where I am in my career without him, so I owe him a hell of a lot. So I'm 100% behind him, without a doubt. Does this put any more pressure on what is already a big derby with Cheltenham next weekend? Yeah, obviously, because we're, we're scrapping for every point now. They're, they're safe, and I don't think they're going to get in the playoffs. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go into that now, and we've got to chase after every, every pass, every header, and just get after them and um, really show them, show us, the fans, everyone how much we want to stay in the league because we worked so hard to, to get into it last year. And how much would you like your goals to be the thing that keeps us out of those bottom two? Well obviously it's nice to score goals as part, uh, part of the job but um, I'm not too top, too bothered about that. Um, my full focus is on us staying in the league. Um, it'd be obviously nice to score some goals but I'm not, I'm not too bothered.